We're at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. This is the Industrial Electronics Technology Department. This is Senior Projects for Spring 2012. Okay, Lucas. All right, I'm Lucas Von Lunen, and uh, this is our elevator senior project for 2012. Um, basically, with this senior project, uh, we got together at the beginning of the semester and decided what we were going to do, and we actually had to build this from scratch, essentially. So, uh, one of our team members, uh, David, the actual welding for the shaft, um, and then we uh, put the various parts together. We got the uh, board and drilled the holes for the different components, mapped out where the components would go. Uh, we had different uh, terminal strips and we had fuse blocks in the back to protect the outputs of the PLC. We put the PLC on there. Um, just various things. Uh, and we also we had a big sheet of lead sand when we started out uh, and we cut the various pieces out. Uh, got those get the different handles drilled in the right place, put on there, different components, uh, just different parts that, that had didn't go with the project there. Um, elevator car, we had to uh, get the wheels on the top and bottom to keep it suspended in the middle of the shaft. Um, we had to calibrate those depending on different shafts because there were variables, so we had to set it to the smallest uh, point in the shaft. Um, put the props, the metal for the props to detect on the side and stuff like that. So a lot of went into this project. Um, it took us probably two thirds of the semester to do that. And then we got to the wiring part. That took a while. Uh, that was also included in that. And then uh, once we got the wiring done, it took about a week, a uh, week and a half to actually do the programming. So. Uh, interesting project, but basically what was supposed to happen is uh, have a, an elevator that would go from floor to floor, had four different floors, uh, had to be able to go from there between those floors using either the call buttons or the teach pendant, which teach pendant showed it from the perspective of inside the car. So basically you go in it, you want to go to floor two, hit floor two from the inside, uh, if at any point, for whatever reason, the door opens, it stops moving, safety feature there. Uh, but once it closes, it's still going to make it to the floor number two. Um, and we're using, to figure out what floor it's on, we have proc sensors on the side. There's six of them. One up and one down for the middle two floors, and then simply an up or a down for the other floors, depending. Um, so the person gets out and someone on the third floor wants to get in, so he hits the call button. Uh, it goes up. And again, any door that you open, we have it programmed as such so that the bit uh, turns it off while it's moving if one of the door is opened. Uh, we also have counters keeping the memory, so if you do open it up, it's still true until it hits that prop sensor, which at that point it'll reset it. So uh, we had to use two different prop sensors for the inside, for the middle two floors, because when you're going up, uh, that piece of metal, it's going to hit right here. Whereas if you're going down, it's going to hit right here. So you have to have one set for to hit when it's going up, one set for when it's going down. Um, you have uh, lights over here. Top red one shows when it's going up, and when it's going down, the blue one shows. Uh, also wired, well, programmed the uh, LEDs so that they tell you which floor it's on. And we have memory on them so that they're activated to begin with when they hit the proxies, but once they come off of they're going to go until they hit the next set of proxies, and then it knows which one, depending on which prox activates, which floor it's on. Um, Go down to one, and uh, we have a, a key switch on here, kind of like a fireman switch on a regular elevator. It switches from manual to auto. Uh, if something happens and you lose power in between there, and I'm going to unplug the PLC, so 
so that it loses all memory. Doesn't know where it's at. Shouldn't know. LED doesn't have a clue where it's at. Uh, you can, in the manual position, when the door shut, jog it up and jog it down, but again, it doesn't know where it's at. So, uh, hit that home switch, which I have programmed for the first floor, and as soon as it hits the props, the first props, it's going to know where it's at, but just in case, uh, the LEDs know where they are, but the other things might not know where they are. If it's mid-floor, uh, and you try to go to either of the middle floors, it's going to lock up because it's not sure if you're, if you're calling it up to that floor or down to that floor. So just for safety reasons, we're going to send it down to the first floor. And once it's there, so you can run the program in automatic just fine uh, without risking any lock, locking up the motors. Um, if something seriously goes wrong with it, there's any stop, which of course kills it. Again, there's memory once it comes back on. Uh, so with the counters and everything. So uh, we do have it all in encased in the Lexan to keep it uh, safe. No one can put their fingers in there. Uh, no cracks big enough to stick much of anything in there. So it's it's pretty safe that way. Uh, motor took a little bit of work to do, but and it's it's a 12 uh, volt gear reduction motor, so there, it doesn't go very fast. But we had to get it so that. It fed through the approximately the middle, so it was good even travel up and down. So uh, for the most part, that's uh, program a little bit of the programming actual things here. This is the the down branch. This first floor, second floor comes all the way down here, and third floor. And yeah, and fourth floor doesn't go down, so. Um, and then you have, here's the home part, the job, stuff, so there's a lot of lockouts that were done uh, to keep it so that it could go back and forth between the floors. We had to reset it all, uh, every other floor reset that uh, counter, but if that counter was activated then that re uh, broke every other floor and so a lot of lockouts going on uh, both for the counters, the reset and the actual branches uh, that call them the floor floor. But, uh, for the most part that's uh, program. These, the reason why the doors broke it, you had the limit switches here which kept it, it kept, which would activate once the door was open and that would open the, uh, one of the bits we had programmed in. So that stopped. We did have over travel uh, switches in manual mode to try to go down too far and it's supposed to be going down but it's hit the over travel switch so it cannot move it can't go up though it just can't go in but, uh, same thing with the top one if you go up too far it's going to uh, cut off the output and it won't be able to go up it'll go down just fine just can't go up so for the most part, that's our senior project for the year. It was a lot of fun working with the guys. Um, we all, there were about six of us who, six or seven of us who worked on this for the most part uh, to get it actually built. And then once it was built, it was broke up into two teams, wired it separately, programmed it separately. But uh, it was a lot of fun. So that was, for the most part, our elevator senior project. All right. Thank you, Lucas. Again, we're at Orangeburg Calhoun Technical College. This is the Industrial Electronics Technology Department. This is Senior Projects for Spring 2012.